Welcome Europe! Yeah, this is the CNR Radio talk show interview session here. This is Rashan. Your host is Rashan with uh, Ali Cyberg. And uh, our guest today is Max Volume. Say hi to the people, Max Volume. Um, hello, I'm That's, Max. His name is Max. Okay. Uh, all right. So it's not my real name, but yeah, people <laughs> call me that. <laughs> I was going to call you Max in this one. Well, too bad. I probably That's still fine. will. Anyway, uh, before we get into the festivities here, let's get into our sponsor, Knife After Doc. Let's go. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse, a deranged killer, a small town in tears. Knife After Dark, rated R for retarded. All right, that was Knife After Dark, rated R. Okay, so a few days ago, Cyberg told me that Max Volume was going to be on the show. And at first, I was like, Come on, dude, retarded! So but then I thought about it, and I was, I was like, hmm been a while since we had a uh, recent controversial figure uh, on the show. So I'm like, okay, this is a great idea. So Max Volume being here is great. So I appreciate you being here, Max. Uh, yes, and I appreciate um, Cyber for inviting me. So thank you, Cyber. And yeah, and just accepting me here. So yeah, thanks. Yes. Uh, I don't know if uh, this will feel like a cheese grater to you because I've got a lot of snit and it's not pleasant. But, uh, <laughs> okay, so first question here is always the same. Uh, when and how did you find CNR? Um, you know, it, this was in the summer of 2013, so I don't remember exactly. I think it was how pretty much the rest of the people found it is through the server list, you know, and the SAMP a uh, server browser and I just found it and I'm like, oh, okay, that looks good. So I tried it and I liked it. And so I stayed here. There you go, just like that. And uh, you said that LB was your first city, huh? Yes, um, for about a year, it was my favorite city. Yeah. And then um, in 2014, the summer, uh, SF actually became my favorite city because that's when I found Ace Team. See, there you go. You came to your senses there. Uh, and is the ass team the only reason why uh, you started the main San Fierro, or was it the dirt of Lost from Terrors? Um, well, LV wasn't as bad back then as it is now. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was mostly because of Ace. You know, I just had a lot more friends on SF than in LV because of being an Ace and whatnot. So yeah, yeah that's true. SF is uh, very peaceful tranquil okay also shout out to Shep on uh, server one right now the best hit man in Vietnam okay so uh, if it feels like I'm rambling because I may ramble at some uh, times you can yeah, I'm sorry feel free to interrupt me um, so <laughs> let's get into this that's so Max Vaughn you're 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 currently disabled aren't you uh, yes I am <laughs> <laughs> yes I should know because I was the one to do yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got owned for uh, DM Lyons' complaint of uh, quitting to avoid plants being taken away, which is a pretty rare thing these days. Um, and uh, I don't know. I have a feeling that you think the complaint's bull snit. And if you think it's bull snit, then go ahead. I'm not a not 14. You can tell me what you think. All right. Um, was it bull snit? What do you think? Um. Well, I'm, I know he did that just to target me specifically because, you know, he was having beef with me at the time, so he wanted to get me bad, first of all. But yeah. um, it was a valid complaint, and so I got what I deserved, so, you know. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll, I'll tell you how it came about. Um, so I was playing San Fiora, right, and then DM Lion, he PM'd me. He was like, hey... 
can I go on unregistered to see if some guy will quit to avoid his plants being taken away? But he didn't say your name. So I had no idea who he was talking about. And uh, at the time, I was like, oh, okay, well, I mean, it's pretty gay to go on an unregistered name and try to take someone's plants. Though when he did say, oh, well, if I go under my current name, then he's not going to quit. So um, I was like, okay, go ahead and do it. And then little do I know, a day later, I see, you know, it's Max Volumes complaint. Oh, look at that. But um, yes, you two have some nice beef, don't you? Yeah, it actually um, all started just not too long ago, just a week or two ago when... Uh, it was that same day when he posted that rant on that video poker thread. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because I just, I called him a retard, which to be honest, he is. <laughs> in, in game, you know, making fun of his name, uh, I called him uh, DM retard, DM liberal, and DM PR <laughs> and stuff, which to be honest, he is again a retard. But um, yeah, he didn't take that too kindly. So he's like, oh, I respected you and all, but uh, now it's, it's all, it's, it's so bad now, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm not really sure he had much respect for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we we got along. You know, we weren't friends or anything, but we didn't really bother each other until that happened. You know, calling me an attention whore and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so whenever there's a hit placed on you, he'll go out of his way to get you, won't you? Uh, maybe. He hasn't done that to me yet, but... He might next time. I'd like to see that. Alright, so uh, about a month ago, speaking of the ass team, uh, you resigned from the ass team. This is this is right, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was based on your server behavior. This is right? Yep. Um, so, basically, you uh, quit the ass team to give yourself personally a free pass to do occasional bad stuff in game without making the ass team look um, bad. Yeah, it. Um, I could agree with you in, in an extent that it is because, you know, I've done stuff before that's made the team look bad and people have said, oh, you know, uh, <laughs> this makes Ace look bad. You're a terrible person and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I don't really want to hurt the reputation of the group, so... Because I, you know, I care about the people in there, and I don't want to make the group look like a bunch of cop DMing fogs, as you would say. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I did that just to be considerate about the other people in there, not to make them look bad. And yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, but is it a possibility that uh, the ass team wasn't as isn't as glorious as it was before because if it was then uh you probably would have considered actually not doing these types of things um, um well like i was actually like my hard drive was actually fried during their glory days i would say so because like for a year i didn't play cnr at all and then i yeah. came back in like 2016 and played then and then they were kind of active, but there wasn't as many people online. And yeah, you know, they're just not as, I'd say, active as they used to be. There's still a lot of great people in there, and there's still active players in there. There's just not as many people online as there used to be. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much I agree. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that uh, cop groups really don't make sense. Um, after a while, they fizzle, and uh, when you're in game, it's like, oh, there's no ass team member on. It's like, yeah, well, it's like, yeah. Oh. and uh, I mean, I, I've thought about it over the past few weeks that I'm just not feeling the ass team anymore. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really into groups anymore, like, because I remember. I quit Cusa. I think you heard about that. And then I immediately jump shipped, jump ship to Ass Team. And I was like, well, after a while, it's kind of dirt. Um, of course, yeah, there are some good people on the Ass Team. Yeah, 
But uh, I would go as far to say that even though the Black Eagles were a joke when they first started, they're actually a bit more prominent than the Aztecs. Yeah. Um, there's actually some, you know, good people in there that I'm friends with too in Black Eagles. So I've got nothing against them now. I used to, but now, like even a uh, Clashdy Rap Carnero, as I call him, <laughs> uh, uh, like we actually get along and we talk to each other whenever he's online. So you know, I I respect Black Eagles a lot more. So yeah, I think they're they're the most prominent cop group at the moment right now. Because, you know, Ace Team isn't as prominent as it used to be, but they're still around. And half the time, too, I don't even team with anybody, so I don't really need Ace. <laughs> yeah, that's my exact point. That's my exact point. Just reminded me of uh, when Cyberic said he was going to take a break. And then uh, when Kitty Caddy came back, he was like, oh, oh, snit. I'm getting back into this snit. But that doesn't make any sense because Kitty Caddy doesn't play. Like, he doesn't play... Uh, he plays like once every two or three weeks. Nice job, Cyber. Um, is he even here? He's, not, he's never here when I roast him. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me see here. Oh, so you were, before you left the ass team, you were what? A co owner or I second was hand man the, of uh, Ivanichi's unit? Yeah, I was the uh, server co owner of that unit. <laughs> no, um, so you're up. the. Uh, sub leader, which is yeah, the basically right hand man is you know they'd put it so. But Ivanishi never played to be honest, so I was basically the one that was kind of in charge of the unit. And in my opinion, units don't even matter in Ace because it's not even that organized. People just team with each other and just go. Yeah, pretty much exactly. They don't. They don't very uh, mad, matter that much. So Ivanishi just he just asked you. Yeah. Right. Oh. I figured as much. Um, but then, last time I've seen not uh, last time I saw I have Nietzsche play, right? He's playing cop, fucking flips me off, and I get insulted to death. The fucking faggot. But that's why I quit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, he doesn't play cop, and he's a fag. But uh, at least since you were second in command in that unit, that gave me ammo for your donkey the day a month ago. A month and a half. Yeah. Ago. All right, speaking of donkeys, uh, well, when you come back, we'll talk about max volumes. Cop work for a few minutes, then get into the main event. You know what the main event is, so don't go away. This is the CNR Radio Talk Show. All right, welcome back, punks, to the CNR Radio Talk Show interview section session with Max Volume. Tell them, show them that you're still here, Max Volume. I'm still here. You're still here. Okay, so before we go into more stuff, let's listen to the Knife After Dark advert again. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse, a deranged killer, a small town in tears. Knife After Dark, rated R for retarded. All right, that was Knife After Dark. Shout out to Shep again for destroying everyone in City Hall. Stop camping, City Hall. Okay, next volume. So, um, by any chance, did Warlord teach you how to play cut? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I ask because um, there was a streak where whenever I saw you on, okay, you'd kill at least one yellow. What's up with that snit? Um, I like to kill people who are Fox. There you go. He likes to kill Fred Fox. God damn it. Like um, Edison Mametti, which I did that in a PD um, a couple weeks ago <laughs> uh, in front of Kona and received a nice disable. <laughs> Although he deserved it because he paid med fees and Edison Mametti's a fog. Yes, yeah, so I'll never excuse Coptium, but uh, Edison Mametti, um, he... I don't want to say it's very annoying, but it's very annoying. Um, pretty much everyone who kills him, he cries aim but And uh, he got disabled today. Uh, because of his brother. And I'm pretty sure he has a brother. 
people usually say, oh, uh, my brother uh, pressed my keyboard, my, my brother, my fish, but I'm pretty sure he does have a brother, but his brother is even dumber than him, which is impossible. Um, yes, uh, there's Max Volume and his uh, love of killing yellows and uh, reporting people for big liberal. Now, whenever you report people for big liberal, especially the Borats, I'm pretty sure the Borats don't know what liberals are. Don't you think that they don't know what liberals are? Pretty sure. Um, uh, it depends on how old they are. <laughs> First of all. Right, just like when people get disabled and they don't read the message. Uh, and they ask, who oh, I disabled? Uh, I can imagine them looking at their screen, being reported for big liberal, and it's like, Oh, what the fuck? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> what is liberal? What is that? But, oh well. Speaking of your comp work, though, um, you know, too bad, because uh, when you were chasing Giants and Titty Boy and Jackie the other day, I was like, hey, we're finally going to see Max Volume do some actual comp work. Um, but unfortunately, he died. No, that, that was another one. Oh. But uh, in in the Giants chase, right? Um, I didn't record the entire chase, and I had a I had some nice words for you, but too bad they didn't get recorded. Too bad. Oh. Um, uh, okay. So uh, let's get into the main event here: the, the bread and butter. Okay, the main event is the scam, the big scam. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to bring this up. <laughs> uh, of course. Of course, that's the number one thing. So, in, in one of the topics where you and Choppy were going at it, uh, I remember Born for Burning said that it was old news. But it was like six, seven weeks ago. That's not really that old. So, I'm, I'm going to allow you to tell us how the scam went down, Punk. Give us some vivid detail of that snap. Okay. So... One day I was just playing uh, SF. Uh, no, I was not ticket killing, uh, but uh, I was. Just a second. Can you hear me? Hello? You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, anyways, um, yes. Uh, Take your time, uh, I was online. Yes, SF, I remember now. Um, and then this guy named Yanasuka was advertising, oh, uh, I want to do a money trade, uh, SF money for LV money. Well, um, I thought that'd be a perfect opportunity to uh, get some extra cash, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I, uh, I was like, okay, um, say I'm interested in the money trade. And he's like, okay, but I'm not going first. Uh, I didn't oh. reply after that. And then five minutes later, he PM me saying, fine, I'll go first. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, he, we met up in City Hall, went to his house, he gave me the money. I uh, went back to City Hall, and I logged off, and I didn't join LV. And so, you can, you know how it goes down there. So, and also I recorded it too, because I thought it'd be funny in the <laughs> CNR community. <laughs> but, uh, turns out it wasn't. Uh, so, yeah. So you quit San Fierro and... Do you know how long it took for him to make the topic? Was um, it the same day? Or? Well, actually, yeah, it was the same day. And I thought he was just some like random noob who didn't have an account on the CNR oh, forums. There you go. But it uh, turns out that he did have an account. And uh, yeah, he posted on the market that he wanted to do a money trade and then uh, edited it just saying, oh, Max Volume scanned me. And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, do you think it was fair for people to bash you for what you did? Um, um, even that, even though some, you sent the money back. Yeah, for some of the people, uh, I feel, you know, some of the people are kind of hypocritical about it because I'm pretty sure that some, quite a few of the people who have said, oh, you're a disgrace and stuff, have scammed buddy, somebody before, whether it was on CNR or... It, you know, cheated somebody out of something in real life, you know, even stole a pencil, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, so, like, you know, everybody's cheated somebody out of something at some point in their life. Uh, 
I mine just happened to happen on CNR. So um, I think it was fair to an extent, but uh, just the excessiveness of how much how people bashed me was kind of unfair. Yeah, I think uh, what rubbed people the wrong way uh, was the video that was posted and uh, you're boasting about it, not just the scam. Um, yeah. But I guess at that time you were a pretty easy target since, you know, you're like Mr. Borat Clown. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was the video. But, you know, in my opinion, you know, scamming. It's a scummy thing to do, yeah. Uh, but I'm led to believe that if you scam for in-game money, you know, it's allowed. You know, it depends how you... But it depends how you do it. It depends who you do it to. And it depends who's involved, you know. Uh, if you remember this Aman Jane guy. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember that. He, he, I think, I'm pretty sure he used the CNR marketplace on the forum to scam somebody, which... You can't do. I'm pretty sure you can't do. Like you can't use yeah. forms to broadcast your items, then scam a guy. You know he got deactivated for that. Uh, you got your regular taken away. Because uh, that's what I I knew when I scammed him. That like uh, I remember reading the thread saying you know scamming is allowed, but it's not encouraged. And I remember again, like you said, uh, when Amon Jane did it, it's he did it over a form post, which isn't allowed if it's just something in game that it, then it is allowed from what i know so yeah exactly uh you know like i said in that donkey today you know it, it it seems to matter who's the scammer and who's the one getting scammed because american gangster i mean he he scammed this war at suny for five times the money that you did but 90 percent of the people in that topic cheered for him and difference is that even though all four of you are autistic because american gangsters dumb too shout out the bombshell but uh since suny's retardation is on a whole nother planet oh, yeah people got were happy that he was scammed oh, yeah. i guess and uh american gangster he was as boastful as you were at first um and he was also unapologetic so it's complicated um, but I still do think that you may have not gotten the backlash you did if uh, you posted, you that, video. posted that video. Yeah. Yes, because you know when I heard that you scammed some guy, I was like, "Oh, this is max volume being X volume, just a fag." But when I saw the video, I was like, "Oh no! What were you thinking? What were you thinking?" You, you really did think people would back you when, when you uh, posted that video, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, um, you know, that Yenisuka guy, dumb PH, uh, I forgot he had a former account too, but, you know, I, I played devil's advocate in that donkey today. I didn't put all the blame on you, even though I probably should have, but uh, he's, he is dumb for not having a middle, a middle man, you know, and I hate when people, they try to get leverage, like what you said, oh, I'm not going first, and then they just eliminate the entire leverage after five minutes, it's like, okay, 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 I'm desperate for the money, like, honestly, get, like, grow some cojones, bro, yeah. but, um, but, as you said before, with the, uh, well, I'm sorry, as Borold said in that topic, something about, uh, you know, we've all done bad stuff like fucking cheating on a test or, you know, putting dirt in someone's tea. And I was like, when I heard that honestly, I was like, how is that relevant to this? I mean, you know, for example, a cheater can't knock another guy for cheating, but I mean, we're not really talking about cheating. Uh, and, you know, Borold was all about... Oh, uh, you ever play with Max Volume in game? You don't. You uh, guys don't know him. And I'm like, okay, well, if I if I play with Max Volume in June, July, and I see 
you kill yellows and I'm like okay that's all I need to know um, and I was thinking well that's selective defense of a person okay so I'm, I'm thinking what if this what if the scammer was a different person would you have the same energy to defend this person as your friend and usually it's not but uh i wonder if borrowed will unmute himself and talk but <laughs> i don't know what if it what if it was jar her would you do the same would you defend them the same way yeah if jar her seven was the scammer well i don't, I don't know because it depends because i wouldn't defend him either but um I don't know, because like if my friend scammed, right, I'd be like, hey, you scammed, get yourself out of your own situation. Um, if the guy is stupid, say the same thing. So, I don't know. That's for, that's for world and uh, to, to think about. I don't know if he wants to unmute. Do you want to unmute world? world? If you want to talk, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I'm not a server owner, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yes, I would never defend anyone else. I only defend Max Volume because uh, he's quite a guy of political ideologies, and I'm sort of leaning into that. That's about it. Anyone else? No, you can fuck off. Max Volume is a white person. That's all I have to say about that, really. And yes, I am discriminating. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Anyway, Sorry, so. <laughs> all right max volume so after talking about that okay if you were to find a window to scam another person would you do it um uh probably not in cnr <laughs> but if it was like something in real life sure i would <laughs> you know, it it depends from situation to situation really if you know what i mean so but on yeah, if it was on CNR, I probably won it because yeah, I, the last one was a bad experience. <laughs> so well, you never know who has a form account anymore. So exactly, that's how it is. Okay, so we're gonna take one more break here. We're gonna talk about some more stuff after. This is the CNR Radio Talk. All right, welcome back to the CNR Radio Talk Show with the interviews. This is Rashad, and our guest here is Max Volume. Tell me you're still here, Max Volume. I'm still here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to do this while being in game, but Discord is a pile of dirt, and I'd have to quit and rejoin it. So I'm stuck. Nice job. Nice break. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get into the sponsor knife after dark let's listen to this thing. he was just the boy next door hi well hello there danny i didn't know it was hockey season hey can i borrow a knife a deadly curse a deranged killer a small town in tears knife after dark rated r for retarded Anyway, yes. Okay. All right, uh, Max Volumes. Let's move on here. So, I noticed that Chuppy doesn't like you very much. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I hate to say that I'm in I'm in the same boat as you, but I I don't think he likes me very much either. Uh, I've got three possible reasons why. I mean, uh, one is pretty benign. The other is absolutely silly, and uh, another is legit, but I don't have any context because I, I, I can't understand the stoic demeanor. Um, you know, uh, the other day I was selling items outside of Los Santos, right? And uh, there were three or four fags out there, and he takes a straight beeline to me. And tries to rob me as a drug dealer and um i know that los santos isn't a city he cares about but that i don't think it's a coincidence you know um 
you know, that, that's why doing a few CNR news is I was like, come on, roast me. Because I you know I can do it. And his roasts on you and Cyborg and Tanner were good because they were true. Um, but I don't know. I wish he would. I think I have a retort, but it's very risky. So uh, let's talk about the uh, the video poker snail, which we alluded to before. When you made that topic, did you sincerely not know how to play video poker? No, I didn't know how to play video <laughs> poker. I'm serious. <laughs> I've never played any casino games or card games or anything besides blackjack. So, my goodness, what a noob! So, so, it, and and this topic was in the CNR game help and information section, which is, yeah, which makes this very fun. So, um, when you saw him post, when you saw the chubby post, were you like, ah, oh, come on, this guy again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's two sides to this because uh, what he's saying isn't wrong, but uh, I don't know if there's a point of oversaturation of uh, making fun of Max Volume. Um, you know, uh, you you know, people gave you your dues. You know, you scanned some faggot. So, uh, you know, it was six, seven weeks ago. It's not old, but it's been a while. So I don't know. I guess we got to move off of that. I don't know. But um, at least he's uh, direct with you because uh, I don't like the passive aggressiveness otherwise. But I don't know. Have you had like... Uh, any encounters with him in game? He's ever killed you? Ever owned you in game, um, bro? Well, we've passed by each other's and cheetahs while we're chasing a warrant, but we've never talked to each other, or even effed off to each other. We just ignore each other, really. That sounds right. He's uh, he's not really directly aggressive a person. Uh, it's funny though, because you know, two and a half months ago, I didn't know who he was, which isn't a bad thing, actually. Whenever you have 2,000 hours on the server and uh, you don't know who someone is, I'm sorry, don't know who someone is, is that's a good thing. Um, but he's gotten on the radar as of late. I don't know, but like I said, please roast him. Okay, so uh, Max Volume, okay. Uh, are your parents Balkan? Um, uh, well... You know, I have uh, roots in Eastern Europe, but oh, I, my go. parents aren't from that. My parents are American born, so. Oh. Before I go on, uh, also, uh, people in IRC, people in game, uh, PM your questions. I'm sorry. Say your questions in IRC or uh, PM them to Borlord. Okay. B uh, PM to Borlord, sorry. Um, but I ask because you're like the only American on the server that seems to act and speak Borat, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> now, I remember your old avatar, right? You know, some guy who had a picket fence face. And uh, <laughs> if I'm not... Actually, I actually like that avatar. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, and I might be, I think Chuffy said that some people would have found that avatar offensive. I'm probably wrong. Uh, I don't know anything about... He, is he Bosnian? Um, He's... Uh, you know, you'd have to consult, uh, Cyber, some other, uh, Balkan guy oh, about no. it, but, um, he was, from what I know, he's some Serbian, uh, artist, uh, during the Yugoslav breakup wars, and he was singing about, about, uh, quote, the, all the mosques will be blown away. <laughs> he's talking about the Bosniaks, so, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I see what he means there. So I was about to ask if that guy had some significance, but there you go. Is that guy still alive? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I get for diving into Eastern Europe. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Let's look at the uh, questions here from the CNR congregation of people. Okay, so uh, first question is from Fucker. Nice name, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Um, 
Yes. How do you earn money to sustain yourself in Siena? Um, well, it's a mix of lotto wins, birthdays, uh, missions, and robbing places in SF. So there you go. Also, uh, how much money do you have in San Fierro? Um, I think it was around 107 million last time <laughs> I remember. So, because I, uh, you remember my lotto win from a couple days ago, about a week ago yes. during the rate my chase, and then uh, a day <laughs> later I had a birthday. So, oh my god, well, there you go. Next volume has more money than I do in San Fierro. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, yes. Okay, uh, oh, question from Borald. Jesus. What is your primary political ideology? Like, uh, the party that I abide by? Or... I guess so. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I'm not completely one-sided for either party, although I, I tend to lean more right. So, basically, I tend to lean more towards Republican, for those who don't know, or uh, conservative. How about that? He is a young buck conservative. Uh, Although I'm not completely flow blown. Uh, I don't always agree with what they say, but I, I tend to lean towards them. So. Yeah, I just, I just think all politics are dirt. But uh, if, you do, if you do become a politician, they need a lot of young people, bro. Uh, all right. The, the Republicans are getting very old and uh, a lot have white hair. But uh, speaking of that, uh, do you think Trump is going to build the wall? Um, you know, it's hard to say for sure uh, <laughs> because the liberals, you know, the evil liberals uh, will never let that stuff pass through Congress. So uh, even if he tries, they'll never let it go through. So, um, I'm pretty sure... Even if it did, that just sounds like a very out there idea. Uh, I guess people are like, ah, oh, goddamn, well, China has the Great Wall of China, so why can't we have the Great Wall of America? You know, because uh, it was <laughs> a different age. <laughs> yes. But uh, you know, I don't know how long the. Uh, U.S. Mexico border is, but uh, I'm pretty sure it would cost a pretty penny to uh, build an entire it'll, wall. It'll it's gonna cost way too much, even if it does happen. You have to build up those associates before he builds up that wall. Yes, exactly. You Keep know, uh, fired. Keep, yeah, I'm well, not fired, but you're fired. I mean, everyone gets fired there, but I don't know. Uh, Trump is Trump, and uh, Trump memes. The only the yeah, I know. Right there. Oh, okay. The only good thing, what? Huh? The only good thing about uh Trump is comedy. Yeah, people like to make fun of him, and I don't, you know, well, like, yeah, Trump, he's he's fun to laugh at sometimes, <laughs> and people laugh at him, so yeah. <laughs> I don't really care. It would have been a problem if if uh, Crooked Hillary got in. What are you talking about? What? How am I not talking? Fat? Can you hear? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, it would have been a problem if Crooked Hillary got into the White House, you know? Yeah. Uh, but it would have been much better if Gary Johnson, you know, my boy Gary Johnson, oh, yeah, he would have been a great president. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, what's Aleppo? I mean... <laughs> Uh, how could she not know what that is? You know, Gary Johnson. Eh, I mean, he's not a, he wasn't a bad candidate, but when he, when that What's Aleppo incident happened, oh man, all shit dropped, hit the fan, man. Uh, well, you know, he was joking. Alright, uh, you're not talking, by the way. Okay, so okay, I understand what's going on. I know what's going on. If I if I change my window from Discord to something else, I can't talk. This is stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, uh, next question is from TD Boy. Oh God. He asks, uh, 
what do you like to do as Civ? Or do you not like Civ that much? Um, well, I enjoy, uh, first of all, stalking other admins, especially Chivo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, flash bombing people. Uh, that's the thing I like to do recently. Although, um, I do enjoy just doing missions, really. So. Yes, uh, there's no such thing as killing yellows as a civilian. Yeah. Well, there is, but it's not the same thing. Hmm. Let's see here. So, uh, so max volume. Uh, when you get undisabled, when do you get undisabled, by the way? Um, I don't even know because <laughs> once I got disabled by, uh, White Fire 911, um, <laughs> which, by the way, I will happily vote him for most abusive admin. Oh, uh, uh, it was, it was 11 days and I don't even know how long ago it was when I got disabled, so, I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, hey, audience, he doesn't know that was really me that did that, but... Oh, because um. <laughs> well, I know that, that I knew that backfire was online at the time. I just I assumed it was him. So, on the well, well, you know, uh, well, I've become, I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure two of the last three times that you got to say what it was me. Okay, um, and what. You know, my, my uh, admin discipline chart is like, hey, if you get disabled, then uh, if you get disabled again within the next week of you getting undisabled, then it increases, then it increases, then it increases. And I, I, I like to, I'd like to do that to more people, but unfortunately, the only person I've really disabled a lot was you, which is funny. <laughs> But uh, there you go. I've come out of the closet. I've uh, I, it, it wasn't backfire 911. That was Rashad. Okay, that was me. Okay, <laughs> no hard feelings. Yes, well, if you did, then that's okay, because like I said before, during the uh, you know the passive aggressive thing, if like I'd rather someone tell me that I am a fag than you just be passive aggressive about it. Okay. Um, yeah. For I was like, oh well, you know, keep it in the closet. But you know, if you got a problem with me, tell me. Okay, uh, that's how, that's how stuff gets resolved. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, the only Adam and I have a problem with this uh, abusive Kona. So yeah. Is that because you take his drugs? Uh, yeah, I take his drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken his drugs at least two dozen times now, um, and uh, I actually. Uh, I remember this happened actually very recently. Um, I, at the end of the week, I called him uh, the most useless admin on CNR. And then the next week, uh, when I got on, it was like on Wednesday. He um, he just decided, oh, Max Lime's online. Let's hand of God and uh, admin <laughs> jail. And I'm like, wow, screw you too. <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, did you see the band can't connect topic by Student Ski Squad? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, he like I understand that English is not a first language for most Europeans, but uh, it, it, it's just funny to see him take forty seconds to type out one sentence. <laughs> and then you know he he's demanding Ninja Tuna to go punish some guy, and he's like, "Oh, I liked you better." When you were a player and you were licking all ass of admin <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's hilarious. But <laughs> Yeah, that was that's definitely the highlight of the month. <laughs> when he was typing, he went to correct so though, but then he <laughs> changed my to mine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking student ski squad. But at least, like he said before, at least he's got the good white skin smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough. Anyway, I think that's going to do it. I don't have anything else. Um, that was Max Volume. I uh, 
I commend you for coming on and getting bashed because I'm pretty sure I bashed you the entire time, which is uh, not anything more than what you would have expected, honestly. Um, but I, I, I put, even though even though you're a numb nut, and I'll continue to call you a numb nut, I respect you coming in, <laughs> respect you coming in here and uh, taking the the pitchfork. So thank you, thanks, Willie. Yeah, you're welcome. No hard feelings. Uh, it's I've been on the internet so long that I nothing hurts my feelings anymore. Trust me. So yeah, exactly. Like I said before, uh, I like my CNR player. Oh, sorry. Like I said before, I like my CNR players to be consistent. Okay. Uh, when when I see a numbnut on the server, I want them to act like a numbnut. When I see a quiet player on the server, uh, I want them to stay quiet and all of that. Also, uh, I'm getting told to shout out Sheila for using different types of vehicles as a solo cop. LSPD car, Savannah, Premier. Even though... <laughs> I don't want to go on a rant about Sheila now. Okay. But all I have to say is if... Like I said in CNR news before, if she ever tries to attack me again, I'm sorry, try to arrest me again, she will get bodied. Okay? Thank you. Um. Oh, shut the fuck up. Anyway. <laughs> Fucking wow. <bullshit. laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, that. Anyway, that was the CNR Radio Talk Show with Max Volume. We'll get to the Punkery Show tomorrow. For all the people playing Los Santos and San Fierro right now, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time. Uh, go Europe! Okay, so...